So if I were to describe my high school experience so far, I would say that it's very interesting. So I peer pressure. I think toxic is the right word and a lot because our school is a little on the conservative side. Um, sometimes there's a lot of exclusion based on like ability or um, even race, actually. Competition almost. And it's not just like the competition itself. It's how, you know, people view, you know, other people um, in the competition while doing this competition. Because I feel like constantly, like, I always felt like really, really dumb whenever, like, I see all, like, all my classmates. And I would often feel like I was the dumb one in the class. And um... because now that I am in college and I tell people about, like, these experiences, they kind of have this shocked look on their face and they don't really know how to respond and they... I've been asked a lot, like, where did you even go? Like, what is this? I also am asking the same question, to be honest. Um, it's definitely a very unique world that we found ourselves in. Just that very typical, well, not even typical, typical for us because we were used to it, but just the culture of just competition to a toxic point. There's been a widespread acknowledgement and acceptance as a toxicity or just like the overall culture, but then there's been no pushback in the sense, which is very interesting. A pivotal moment in my life during my time at Arcadia High School was when I found myself um, self-inflicting myself because of how poorly I did, right? I it never had the thought of suicide got to me, all right? But nevertheless, I was doing self-inflicting harm, all right? I got into cutting, all right? It wasn't on the wrist. It was more in the inner part of the arm. And it, I always, not always, but there was a feeling of me in late sophomore year, early junior year, where I just had a feeling of, gosh, you know, I didn't do so good here in this class, not as good as I wanted to. Um, I need, there's, I got to punish myself in some way, right? And there was a few cuts here and there that I did. And Thankfully, I wasn't in the mindset where I had to continually do that, right? Um, cutting is not the sort of outlet to um, to release those sort of woes here and there. Um, um, I was able to access the best health resources. I did eventually get set up with therapy, with therapists, and that was free of cost because of the resources Arcadia had, which is very cool that you can get therapy for free. <laughs> However, still, I don't feel like I was very supported in that way because I had to seek these resources out for myself. Um, throughout my time in Arcadia, whenever I'd encounter problems like this, where my academic problems would sort of trigger mental health problems for me, it was always the onus was always on me to seek help, to either deal with it or admit to myself, okay, I need to seek help. I think I'll counsel. Um, so I think it's another part of just like, I hear these students is like very hyper competent machines. They can recognize when there's a faulty problem and they can fix it themselves. When really at one point in sophomore year where I was going through a very similar issue of like yet again, another math class, um, but also like family issues at the time I was just not like at my best I was at my lowest in terms of my mental health and I look back at that point um, especially in my senior and junior year I remember I would feel a lot of anger towards the administrator because I felt like why was no one there looking out for me like why my grades started and why like to feel more punitive to why did it feel punitive to try to get to the resources, try to get to the counselors? You know, why did it feel like there's something wrong with me in that sense? You know, 
it's just like the way the structure of the resources is set up it's very much a humbling experience that you have to go through on your own and along that way you just realize that like okay this is not a very supportive environment no one is really looking out for you like you have to ask for help you have to do these things on your own so while it is there the structure of it is just not very conducive like for example just like all these little things added up made it like very hard for me to go to school just like every day kind of having to put on a face so that I could get through and I could do the things that I was passionate about um I've just tried to basically push through in order to get to the next step in order to go to university um like sort of a universal thing where you sort of look back and all your memories and you just start you know nitpicking you're seeing like all the flaws also seeing all like all what makes things sort of beautiful or what makes it so unique now I may not have you know the most extravagant you know high school experience I wasn't like the biggest you know person campus right wasn't like you know a big person like a huge like a huge deal but I think part of my high school experience was just being able to like go through the experience with the people around me like being with people who you know also understood what I went through and um sort of enjoying yourself sort of enjoying it with along with me um but overall I think you know as as flawed as Arcadia is it's it's still a good you know program to go to you know you know they- I just like to say that not everyone at Arcadia High School is bad. The teachers are really nice. And I think the teachers have a different view than a lot of the administration and the people in the office. Because there's teachers who fully support like LGBTQ students, like literally Mix Cordero, whose pronouns are there them. So it's just something that keep in mind like this. I really believe in, you know, it doesn't take anything to be kind to people. Like it doesn't take any extra effort. Yeah. It doesn't take any like physical thing, like monetary. It just you and yourself. So I think um like my friends and the rest of the school and like teachers and everybody I know at Arcadia can see that um in my efforts trying to be nice to them uh that I was able to you know be a good friend to them or be a good student to my teachers or you know just be somebody who is actively participating in um Arcadia's community yeah